John, you worked in Southern California. I wonder what your memory of Vin Scully is. Yeah, my memory of uh, Vin Scully is uh, more recent than that. Um, what a terrific gentleman. And Mike was absolutely right, and that was the perfect guest, Joel. You were right about that. Uh, my memory of Vin Scully is when I went, I went out with Dennis Gilbert, who's a longtime agent and now a baseball executive in L- L.A. when I was vacationing there, and I was out with my daughter, and he represented, uh, he was an agent for Vin Scully, and his next uh, appointment was with Vin, and we happened to meet Vin, and he was so nice. He could not have been nicer to me and to my daughter, and she remembers it to this day. This was many years ago, and she brings up the name of Vin Scully all the time. She's a big baseball fan, and she just recalls, and my, Mike was absolutely right. He's such a nice guy beyond being the greatest b- baseball broadcaster ever, just a true gentleman. Yeah, you know, one of the great things about getting the baseball package whenever that came along was you could cover a Met or Yankee game in New York and then come home and you'd get the last few innings of a Dodger game uh, and I'd get to hear Vin Scully. And that, as you know how important my dad was to me and baseball was important, it was another way we connected. My dad listened to Vin Scully in Brooklyn doing Brooklyn (laughs) Dodger games on the radio and I got to do it 50 years later listening to him on the TV do Dodger games as eloquently and excellently and still at the top of the field as he's ever been. He came in the best. He went out the best. And rest in peace, Vin Scully.